Let's recap on the reasons property prices increase in a city and see how many we have in Manchester. Number one growth factor. A bigger demand for property than properties available. Supply and demand. Number two. Growing wealth and population. To afford to bid for the properties. Number three. Access to lending at competitive rates. So let's start with point one. Manchester is one of the fastest growing cities in the UK, with a population that has been steadily increasing over the past few decades. However, despite the rising demand for housing in the city, there remains a significant undersupply of properties. The demand for properties in Manchester can be attributed to a number of factors including the city being home to a number of world-class universities, attracting a large number of students from around the world. Despite the high demand for properties in the city, the number of new developments coming onto the market has not kept pace, driving property prices and rents up. A perfect mix for investors. In Manchester, there is an occupancy rate of a whopping 97.5%, though many of our developments have an occupancy of 99%, meaning investors will have a huge volume of tenants wishing to rent their property. To put this into context, over 100 weeks, roughly two years, only one to 2.5 weeks would be vacant. With a new development North Hill in Manchester, 70% of the new tenants had just moved to Manchester displaying how many new people are relocating. This is amazing for our investors as they maximise their profits. The next major factor on our list is growing wealth, something Manchester is ahead of the curve with. The growing wealth in Manchester means that with lower supply, there is a huge upward price and rental increase in the city, much like what happened in London in previous years. The average salary in Manchester has been steadily increasing in recent years, reflecting the city's growing economy and employment opportunities. A simple but effective way of predicting how much a property value can increase is to look at other areas of the UK. The way we can do this is by using the average property price compared to the average salary. According to Home Track's August 2021 report, Manchester's average property is 6.2 times the average salary. To put this into context, Bristol property is 9 times the average salary, and London property 12 times the average salary, almost double that of Manchester. This would mean Manchester's property prices could double without any salary growth, showing the opportunity available. Our final point on mortgages. Mortgage lenders love Manchester. Therefore rates here are lower than other towns and cities as the major banks back the city. Now we know Manchester ticks every investor box for investment fundamentals. How does Manchester perform in maximising growth? The factors that maximise a city's growth are Number 1 growth factor New companies moving to the city Number 2 growth factor New transport links Number 3 growth factor Government investment so how do these stack up in Manchester? Other than the BBC, who moved from London to Manchester in 2011, Manchester has also won a huge number of the biggest global companies, persuading them to set up offices in the Northern Powerhouse. Manchester has become a popular destination for businesses and startups in recent years, with many companies attracted to the city's vibrant economy, highly skilled workforce, and excellent transport links. Here are some examples of new companies that have recently moved to Manchester. In 2019, Amazon announced that it was opening a new corporate office in Manchester, which would create more than 600 new jobs in the city. In 2021, Google announced plans to open a new office in Manchester, which would house up to 1,000 employees working in a variety of roles, including sales, customer service, and engineering. German engineering firm Siemens announced that it was relocating its UK headquarters to Manchester, citing the city's talent pool and thriving innovation ecosystem as key reasons for the move. Global professional services firm Deloitte announced that it was opening a new office in Manchester, which would house up to 1,000 employees working in a range of roles, 
including technology, consulting, and risk management. Social media platform TikTok announced that it was opening a new office in Manchester, which would serve as the company's main hub for operations in the UK and Europe. This is just a small cross-section of the most notable businesses. However, with 36 new businesses opening or moving to the city per day, employers are bidding for staff driving up wages and population, meaning more money is available for rent and purchase and more people competing on a low volume of stock. Our next major growth factor new transport links boost property growth. With Manchester, like London, a zone 2 is emerging which is now seeing massive growth for investors and we will keep seeing more and more new areas as they are connected. Lloyds Banking Group produced a report in 2015 which showed property prices grew at double that of equivalent areas when within walking distance of a new transport link. Not only is the existing infrastructure excellent, Manchester is set to undergo a significant transformation in terms of its transportation network over the next five years. The city is already home to an extensive network of public transport options, including trains, trams and buses, but a number of new projects are planned or underway that will further enhance connectivity within the city and beyond. One of the most significant transportation projects currently underway in Manchester is the expansion of the Metrolink tram network. The new Trafford Pock line, which is due to open in 2022, will provide a direct link between the city centre and the Trafford Pock business district, which is home to a number of major employers. Another major transportation project in Manchester is the Northern Hub, which involves upgrading the rail network across the north of England. The aim of the Northern Hub is to improve connectivity between cities across the north of England, including Manchester, Liverpool, Leeds and Newcastle. In addition to these large-scale projects, Manchester is also investing in a range of smaller-scale improvements to its transportation network. This includes the introduction of new cycling and walking infrastructure, as well as measures to improve bus services and reduce congestion on key routes. The effect of these transportation plans is expected to be significant, both in terms of improving access to jobs and education for residents of Manchester, as well as enhancing the city's reputation as a hub for business and innovation. By improving connectivity within the city and beyond, Manchester is well positioned to attract new investment and talent, further driving economic growth and development. Our final factor to have massive property price growth for investors is government investment in a city. Government investment in a city is critical if you really want to be at the highest end of growth for your investment. The reason for this is simple. If the government of Manchester take £100 million from central government, they have to prove that this will generate GDP over and above that invested. Governments do this by creating more jobs. More jobs mean companies have to compete for staff driving salaries up. Increased jobs means more people competing for properties. Increased salaries means more wealth to bid on rents and properties. Perfect for us as investors. Manchester has several regeneration zones that aim to revitalise and transform underutilised areas of the city. Including the Northern Gateway is a £1 billion regeneration project. The £1.4 billion Mayfield Regeneration Project, which aims to transform a 24-acre site next to Manchester Piccadilly Station, the £800 million NOMA, which is a 20-acre regeneration project in the heart of Manchester city centre. Aust John's the £1.4 billion project in the city centre. In conclusion, Manchester has always been a favourite for global investors, and we have another 10 years or so of massive growth. Investors buying now will be able to get an investment very central in a world-class city without breaking the bank. But soon this will change, and Manchester, like London, will be very expensive, and investors will wish they had bought in 2023. So that is our brief tour of Manchester, England completed. Here are some quick facts which may help you decide whether to invest in the city. Manchester University is ranked in the top 30 in the world along with Yale, Stanford, Oxford, the University of Tokyo and King's College, London. Manchester is in the northwest of the country, 
Manchester has one of the biggest international airports in the UK with three passenger terminals and a cargo terminal. It is home to a vibrant music scene with some of the UK's biggest artists coming from the city. Manchester will be on these two line creating a huge amount of opportunities to investors in the future. Rolls and Royce met in the Midland Hotel Manchester and founded the famous luxury car manufacturer. The University of Manchester has 25 Nobel Prize. Manchester started the Industrial Revolution.